back to regularly scheduled programming. It was a big, a busy day in Sunday Stand. You heard me. We have new details today after a deadly shooting at a Walmart in Lauderdale Lakes yesterday. We're now learning the man killed is a good Samaritan who was shot when he was trying to help a woman who worked at the store. Meanwhile, the suspect who police say is also an employee. Oh, hold on. <laughs> the man who was shot was a good Samaritan who was trying to help him. You see some son sister in distress with some goddamn son, man. You a goddamn fool if you get in the middle of that shit. And if you with your lady, let me tell y'all some good, good, good advice, man. You with your lady, you walking through fucking Walmart, per se. You see some sun man. He all up in some sun woman face. Bitch, hold, da, 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 da. And your lady's like, oh, my God. And she wants to stop. You know, women always want to stop and try to help other woman. You grab your woman right here, the fatty part of her arm. And you squeeze that shit so fucking hard and walk her ass out that fucking store and say, bitch, mind your fucking business. You don't know what the fuck went on, man. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. That son's sister could have been like, bitch ass nigga, I'm going to have my brother come up here and kill your ass. Oh, I know where you live. My, my little cousin is going to come shoot up your house. You don't know what's going on with that son woman and that son man, man. You don't stay the fuck out of son. You stay the fuck out of son, son, goddamn son situations, man. Stay the fuck out of it. We have new details today after a deadly shooting at a Walmart in Lauderdale Lakes yesterday. We're now learning the man killed is a good Samaritan who was shot when he was trying to help a woman who worked at the store. Meanwhile, the suspect who police say is also an employee is now in custody, charged with first degree murder. Local 10 News reporter Syra Onward joins us live from the scene. And she has all of the latest on this investigation. And so this was somebody who just stepped in to help. Just uh, someone trying to help an employee who was uh, getting into an altercation with this man who had a gun. This was really a chaotic scene for shoppers, for employees, everyone here at this Lauderdale Lakes Walmart. And it's still pretty chaotic today. There's still a law enforcement presence outside. The staff here said they hope to reopen the store this morning, but that just didn't happen. 22-year-old Taroni Sterling of Lauder Hill behind bars accused of shooting a man inside a Lauderdale Lakes Walmart Tuesday afternoon. I was at the cash register and um, we heard some shots. Everybody just started running. I, I ran out of there. Walmart. God damn it. They made Mickey Mouse a black woman. Man. <laughs> shit, man. Gladys can't have shit. It done made Mickey Mouse a black woman. The fuck? Afternoon. I was at the cash register and um, we heard some shots. Everybody just started running. I, I ran out of there. Walmart customers who dropped everything to escape the gunfire yesterday, returning to the store this morning to collect their belongings. I left my book bag, but I, I had my wallet with me. Broward County deputies surrounding the store yesterday. BSO says so far their investigation shows Sterling arrived at the Walmart he works there but was not on shift. Sterling and a female employee were arguing when things got physical. Deputies say Sterling dropped a gun on the floor and tried to steal the woman's cell phone. A male shopper. An employee not on duty came up there with a gun to argue with a female employee who was on duty. Drops the gun. And we supposed to believe that, like, there's too many black people. <laughs> there's too many black people in prison. We supposed to feel bad, man. Like, listen, man. This was a series of bad decisions, man. Which I can understand, man, fueled by youth and fueled by DNA. Fueled by youth, DNA, bravado. Because sons, we like, fuck that shit. We do anything. Like I told you the other day, 
Sons will do anything anywhere. Sons don't care. What, bitch? You talking shit? Because he probably was in a relationship with the little broad. In a relationship with her. They going through it. He's like, bitch, I'm going to come up there. You know how I am. You know me, bitch. You know me. You know what type of nigga I am, man. You know what type of nigga I am. I'll come up there, bitch. You have to shit out your ass in front of everybody. Boy, what the fuck ever? You ain't going to do shit. Bitch, I'm a bitch. What? All right, watch. I'm about to come up that motherfucker. And her dumb ass. She probably keeping it G. She ain't tell nobody because she she down with the street code too. You gotta remember, sister, she down, she not like a normal woman. A, a tiger woman would have heard that and called the police. Tiger woman would have told the police officer on duty, because all these stores got police officers at them. Tiger woman, tiger uh <laughs> tiger woman would have heard that she'd have told the police. As soon as the nigga came up there, police would have been waiting for his ass. A sister, she ain't gonna say shit. <laughs> She was gonna wait for his ass to show up and act like, oh, what the fuck? Like and act like she don't know what the fuck going on. You know the fuck this nigga up here for. Y'all were just arguing on the phone in the break room. But I, I had my wallet with me. Broward County deputies surrounding the store yesterday. BSO says so far their investigation shows Sterling arrived at the Walmart. He works there but was not on shift. Sterling and a female employee were arguing when things got physical. Deputies say Sterling dropped a gun on the floor and tried to steal the woman's cell phone. A male shopper tried to intervene. Sterling picked up the gun and shot the customer multiple times before running away. That And they always run away. Like it, it's always some sediment. Like we we like animals, yo. Salute the weather, man. He said juice crew at it again. We always run away. I'm telling you, it's something, it's something about that, man. Like a sun man to do some brazen, brave shit. Like a sun man a brave. I mean, come in the fucking middle of fucking yo. If January 6th was some people, you would have seen fucking 2,000 niggas running down Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> After they broke into the Capitol, them niggas would have ran. <laughs> I, I shit you not. The police would have came up, the, the Capitol police would have came up. Niggas were like, oh shit, the police the ram booked it down Pennsylvania Avenue. You said 2,000 niggas just running down Pennsylvania Avenue. We always running. We always do some crazy ass, brave ass, brazen shit. And next thing you know, we just run. There's <laughs> some shit to that, man. It's some shit to that, man. <laughs> it's something to that. I, I got to get Fabian on here, man. Let me drop the link, man. I got to get Fabian on here. It's some shit. It's some shit to that, man. Why the fuck sons are they always running and shit? They always do the boldest shit and then run. We 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 will run even if there's no chance of getting away. Like it ain't no possibility of getting away. It's just our instinct, man. We got an instinct to run, man. <laughs> you just shot this man, this customer in Walmart on your day off and shit. You done came up to Walmart on your day off and shit and arguing with a cashier and shit and then shot a customer and your ass is going to run like, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> Something crazy, man. We different, man. It's some shit to that, though. That running shit. It's something to that, man. Always running and shit. 
the running is like part of it. It's like um it's weird, man. It's like part of our like goddamn bad guy shit. Like we won't run, we won't get away too. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, man. We crazy, man. That nigga came up on his day off and shot a customer. And shame on that son, man, for getting in the middle of it. What's up, man? We got goddamn, goddamn Mossberg, man. Mossberg in the building. What's up, man? What's up, man? You finally figured out what Mossy meant, huh? Oh, yeah. No, I've been knowing what it meant, man. You, Your mic is hot, too, man. Your mic, your mic, you, your mic different, man. You got a new mic, didn't you? Yeah, see that red shit? No. Oh, you got that shit from the dollar store. Not the dollar store. You got that shit from, um... <laughs> Um, what's that store? Family Dollar. No, they. I got. A, I got a pair just like that from Family Dollar, man. But um, I only wore them once. But yeah, go ahead. What, 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 what do you think? Why do some men always do some? Like, I mean, the bravest, most like unimaginable shit, and then be like running and shit. Hey, they, 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 they know the cops ain't playing. <laughs> and at least they got they tell themselves that they think the cops they think once the cops get their hands on them they're gonna beat the shit out of them they probably deserve it but they always I don't know why they always run from they always run from cops when they do something salute the what I said they don't they don't, don't want to be held responsible for anything yeah they don't want to be held responsible for it not saying and I'm not saying you should try to get caught I'm just saying like some of this shit you do man you gotta stand on that shit man like you came up there with a gun on your day off and just think about how walmart is when you when you're at walmart where the cash registers are and shit you like just like argue with some chick and you the gun drop and fall out the customer look at you say something you shoot his ass down yeah probably just, I tucked, probably I tucked in his gym shorts some shit like that that's like crazy man salute to hank hill man he says worst phrase white people say now we can't arrest arrest our way out of this that implies there's some other solution. Lock them up. Yeah, white people are fucking retarded, man. I think aliens built all that shit, man. Aliens, all that shit white people take credit for. Aliens built that shit, man. Some some goddamn aliens came out in the spaceship, man, and built all this shit. The pyramids, Rome, all that shit. Because you gliders are fucking retarded, man. Um... We can't arrest our way out of this. Yes, the fuck you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Who says that? I never I never ate. I oh, never ate anything like that. They say that shit all the time. Say Sterling dropped a gun on the floor and tried to steal the woman's cell phone. A male shopper tried to intervene. Sterling picked up the gun and shot the customer multiple times before running away. That customer was airlifted to Broward Health, where he later died from his injuries. After a few hours of searching, BSO SWAT and intervention teams tracked down Sterling near an apartment complex in Lauder Hill. Cell phone video appears to show them taking him into custody. He now faced... Why he ain't kill himself, man? Think about that, too. That's another thing. Sons, we don't... You're supposed to kill yourself after you did that, man. Jail is so remember jail is the belly of the beast, man. The white man jail, man. It's the prison industrial complex, man. Your name don't what? ring out if you kill yourself. If you go if you go out and you go out in a blaze like what was it from the movie Juice, Blizz? He went he went out and shoot up with the police. He got the juice and he got the juice. That was a movie, of course, but I guess that's probably the same idea. You know, you go out. You know, go out guns blazing so people so people remember your name. No one who's gonna remember you if you if you kill yourself. But he got arrested though, man. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that, I guess that was too much work for him. He's like, man, that one body's enough. This man, like this man, about to go to prison and shit over this shit, man. He about to go look, to prison. Look he probably did look he, like he done time already. No doubt, but that's what I'm saying. Like prison is not that bad, man, for the sun man, man. Prison is a better quality of life than we would have had if, if we if white people wasn't around. If we was just in the savannah by ourselves, prison would be a prison is a better. I want to take a poll on that. 
And salute to um Soul Tron. I gotta check out that song run by Ghostface. Ghostface, one of my favorite rappers. I think it's too many educated, educated gliders running prisons. Cause look at the old look at gliders from before. It, it was it was busting big rocks and the little rocks. It was it was work. Then you got then you got some then you got the educated ones to get into the system and think that oh we should we should we should approach this a different way, price using European standards to try to deal with try to deal with criminals. And then that, that doesn't work here. We got some wild criminals here. That's yeah, soft, that's soft, that's soft, that soft approach that soft approach does not work. Yeah, yeah, man. Some men, some men, um, some men do some men. Listen, man. Prison is better than any quality of life some people would have created for themselves without gliders in our natural state. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying in our natural state, like in our in our sun sun essence. In our sun essence, if you would just left us alone on the African savannah and never came over there and fucking dragged us into the modern times, but that's really what gliders did. They dragged us into the modern world, man. We went, we came into the mod, we, we left the stone age kicking and screaming. Some people left the stone age kicking and screaming, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, yeah, it was like, God damn it, we want to stay in the Stone Age, motherfucker. They dragged us into the modern times, bro. Hey, what do, you, what do you think Africans were doing before tires were introduced to them? Oh, they were just they they burned you up with something else, man. It was it, before tires were introduced, man. It was a one piece of rubber in all Africa, man. Now one piece of rub in the whole goddamn Africa. No, until now, until Belgium got until Belgium came to the Congo and well, you, yeah. you remember how that went. Yeah, exactly. He said John Turner says they run the same way doctors retreat from the light. Yeah, this 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 some man ran. He came up there, did that bold ass shit, then ran, and then got caught. It got handcuffed. He about to go to jail, go to prison. He ain't getting no bomb. They ain't giving him no bomb for this shit. This shit was too reckless. This is first degree charges of murder and armed robbery by sudden snatching. And deputies have not yet released the name of the man who was shot and killed or the name of that female employee. As far as Sterling, he is. You want to see the, the you want to see the person who was being shot? Let me show you the person he shot, man. Shot this guy, man. Shot that guy, man. I guess it wasn't a glider. Forty-one year old Thierry Bastin. So he was a um patient. Bast Bastian. Thierry Bastian. That's French. He shot several times in the chest, back, and lower extremities, allegedly by an off-the-clock employee. They say he had good energy. Everyone liked him. Really dedicated to family. He was a good person. He had a really good heart. Bastion was inside of Walmart on North State Road with his girlfriend and kids. This guy was in there with his girlfriend and kids when he, oh, shit. His girlfriend and kids saw him get killed by a nigga in Walmart. Oh, man, this is terrible, man. This is one of the saddest stories. This, one of the, this is a sad story, man. This dude was in there with his girlfriend and his kids. So, so let me get this straight. So he, so the guy dropped the gun during the, during the argument. And Bastion, he went to he went to help the woman. He picked the gun up and shot the guy to death. Yeah, this is, um, it says this is crazy. This is it crazy. says Bastion was inside the Walmart on North State Road Seven with his girlfriend and kids. 
when the argument broke out near the frozen food section between 22-year-old Tyrone Shavar Sterling and a female employee. So this was in the frozen food section. The argument escalated into a physical fight. Oh, so they were they was back there bumping. Still, man, you gotta let man listen, man. I I understand the split second decision. You see a son man beating the shit out of a, a a girl on the floor. You don't know if it's just you don't know what's going on. You just see a a, a son man thumping a fucking girl on the floor on the sales floor. And she got on her uniform and shit. You, I could see how this guy probably thought, you know, let me step in and help this girl. Just a sad situation, man. Um, police said, police said Sterling picked up his gun <laughs> and shot Bastian multiple times. Bless you. Bless you. Like, detectives later found ten spent. Oh, ten? He he fired ten times. Oh, he was trying to kill this guy. He didn't just shoot to get him off of him or just shoot accidentally. He fired. Boom, 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 boom. He fired 10 times. From point blank range. Jesus. Still probably only hit the son of a bitch twice. <laughs> Shit, man. God, oh, he instantly was trying to kill this guy. His this was his first interaction with the guy. He him and his girl fighting. He drops his gun. The guy comes, intervenes. He picks his gun up and shoots him down like a dog. I mean to kill. But not to like go out and like kill himself, but to just to like you know, just, just to run and get arrested a few blocks away. Like you could have shot him once. Let's just say you shoot him once and he falls down. And he let's say he could have died from that one gunshot. That's still a different situation than like you just like you just like standing over and then feeding nine more shots into somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, it's like weird, man. It's weird behavior, man. I'm, I'm telling Especially you. Especially when they kill the unicorn. This guy's there with his girl and his kids. I mean, that's pretty fucking rare in the hood. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Yeah, this is him right here. Wow. He had a little baby. Ooh, he had a little baby. with. They got a little baby. Oh, he looked like a son man too. He got the, the all all the tats. He got the guns. He got the, all the tats. Mm. Never did a leg day in his life. Wow. <laughs> yeah, some men don't do leg day, man. We ain't tripping off that. We got we naturally though. We naturally got legs though, as far as for speed, man. We don't need. We don't need legs for strength. We, we we need legs for speed, man. Us, we got we got we we got that um those skinny skinny ankles, man, for speed, man. Wow, whack that guy, man. Oh man, wow. Hold it down for me. Let me get some water, man. Hold it down for me. Snack time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing he probably he probably tried to pull the guy off. Probably, probably try to pull her off of him, pull him off of her. Cause he's like you know, he's like a pretty swole guy. Um and didn't think, you know, didn't didn't anticipate, you know, getting shot. I was wondering. If, I was wondering. If, did he see the? Did he see the gun? He must. He, he had to have seen the gun if he's that close to, you know, for the guy to pick it up and then shoot and shoot him, you know, right there on the spot. What do you think? Uh, I figured the guy just called him clumsy, and that got him killed. 
dude, did you really just drop a boom, 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 boom? <laughs> and that was the end of the guy. He wasn't going over that help or nothing. He was just talking shit on the way by. I don't know. Yeah. That's my theory. I mean, what's it take to, to set the, the city sun man off? A scuff sneaker, an errant look, uh, a slight breeze. It's like it's like I told Ark. I stay away. I, I stay away from guys like that. <clears throat> I mean, I'm in. I'm in no rush to get into a gunfight. Especially with people that don't aim. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Hey, the Walmart, the Walmart's where you live. Do you ever see? You ever hear about this kind of action going on? Or is it stay, no, just stay no, free, no, stay free, like peaceful? That. We got, we got one twenty eight miles away, a Wally World, and uh, I'm not sure how we broke the record, but to my understanding, it was the most stolen from Walmart, at least in this part of the country. <laughs> I'm about That's because uh, the natives sticking, you know. I think I'm. I think I'm, I think I'm two miles from the next from the nearest Walmart. I'm at. I'm, I live by the one that was. Uh, it was on the. It made the news where a guy tried to. A guy tried to rob the place. He tried. To, he tried to steal from the place, and someone came up behind him with one of the dividers for the line. You know, you know, with the retract, with the retract, um, retractable cord. He picked it up and hit the guy right in the back. <laughs> he swung, he swung at him and um, hit, knocked him out. Good. Yeah, it was a good hit. That should happen more often. I mean, how many? People would continue to shoplift if the price of shoplifting was there. Yeah, it would be a lot less. You still, have people try, you still have people who would try, but it would be a lot less. What's up? Yeah, man. Um. Oh, man. We in the building, man. Uh, no, nah, I'm not eating nothing right now, man. I had to get some water, man. This, this, this is a sad case, man. It's a sad case. Oh man, how do you how do you avoid this, man? You see a sudden man kicking some woman. This is the thing, though. He this guy didn't know anything about the situation. He doesn't know what's going on, and. He's a big guy. You can see, I mean, he might, I don't know how tall he is, but he's got some nice guns on him. He may have intimidated that little skinny jeans wearing motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the sun man just went into straight survival mode, street survival mode. And then once he shot him, then he went into evil mode. Because, you know, we, we evil too. Stood over him and made sure he was dead. In the fucking Walmart. Jesus Christ. That shit's crazy. It's in Walmart. Jesus. 